Hey everyone, I'm Rahi Patel, your curiosity correspondent. And in this challenge, I want you to extract DNA from strawberries. DNA is a biological molecule that holds the instructions for how to make any living thing, including you. You are made up of trillions of biological cells. Maybe you've heard of a few different kinds. Brain cells, blood cells, skin cells. Regardless of the type of cell it is, each cell in your body holds a copy of your entire DNA. The same thing happens in every other plant and animal, including strawberry plants. This means every cell in the strawberry has a copy of the DNA of the entire plant. You can actually extract this DNA with things you can find at home. All you need is a little bit of salt, water, dish soap, strawberries, isopropyl alcohol, and some kitchenware. First, place the container of isopropyl alcohol in an ice bath about 10 minutes before you start. You can also use an alcohol like vodka if it's available. To start, mix water, dish soap, and salt together. Pour the mixture into a Ziploc bag and add the strawberry. Mash the strawberry up. When it's thoroughly mashed, pour the mixture through a strainer. Yum, strawberries. Pour the strained fluid into a small or narrow glass. Then add the chilled isopropyl alcohol. After about a minute, you should start seeing some gooey substance floating around on top. That's the DNA. Take a fork and fish it out. This goo contains the instructions on how to make a strawberry plant. Everything from its roots, to its leaves, to the delicious fruit that grows on it. You can actually do this with other fruits as well, including bananas and kiwis. See if you notice any differences in the extracted DNA. Once you do that, answer the following questions. What does each step in the extraction process do? How do biological cells use DNA? What happens if you change DNA? Fairly soon, we will likely have the technology to change a baby's hair color or eye color before it's born. But wait, just because we can do it, does it mean we should? I hope this challenge got you a little more interested in what DNA actually is and why it's important. Maybe you could be studying it one day, perhaps at MIT. Have fun, everyone.